Yep, I just sunk up huge. This is not good. Today, we have a pretty fun job to do. We're going up about, oh, 10, 15 minutes north of here, and we are going to drain a swamp. Essentially, what we've got is a building needs to be built. The area has been cleared, but it's still holding a lot of water. We're gonna go try to get some drainage in there so that when it rains, like it's supposed to tomorrow, the water will just run off and, and run out to another ditch that's over on the side of the property. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the job site. Everything's already loaded up and serviced and we'll show you what we got when we get there. Okay, here's what we're looking at. So this area has all been cleared out, but there is a lot of water standing. And we gotta figure out how to get this to drain. There's a drainage ditch way over there. And so what we want to try to do is bring a trench right up through here and just get this area draining out. Ideally, what I would like to do is get this thing trenched in and then whatever time I have left, try to grade this area off and get it as good as I can get it. So anyway, I'm going to get unloaded and we'll get going. I set the laser to zero, uh, zero grade, and then I took a shot down where I'm gonna start, and I took a shot up there on the hill um, and measured the difference between them. So the stick was reading seven foot two and a half at my start point, and believe it or not, it was three foot two and a half up at my end point. So that tells me I have exactly four feet. I wheeled it off a little bit ago, it's 155 feet. So we have four feet of drop in 155 feet. So what we do is we just divide that out as soon as I can find the calculator app on this phone. There we go. All right, so four feet divided by 155. That means we have a 2.58% grade. So I'm gonna set the grade to 2.5% on the laser. And then once I set it there, I should just be able to dig back and have a really nice ditch. All right, here we go. Normally I don't really wanna have my blade behind me when I dig, but we're not doing any real hard digging today, and this also makes it real easy for me to just kind of blade off a level area um, behind me where I'm where I'm headed. So, you know, given that I've got really today before the rain moves in to get this sorted out, um, I just want to make it as quick and convenient as possible. I'm just gonna try to keep the dirt out of the way and then as I get little bits of ditch dug in, I'll tie in these puddles so they'll go ahead and drain out.
feel certain we're going to see a lot of stumps today. My real only concern with this project is when I get back up toward the end of the ditch up there on the high side, whether or not the machine's going to stand up. But, you know, I, so far, just based on this little bit of digging, I think it's probably going to be all right. But time will tell. I just want to go ahead and get this little bit draining out while I can still reach it. like there's an old stump hole or something right in here. All right, I'm going to get this main ditch in. We'll do some time lapse so you can see how that progresses. And then uh, I'll get back to you once we get a little bit farther along and try to start getting some of this water out of here. Okay, well our main trench is in it's already starting to drain some water right through here not nearly enough but uh, that's okay it's a good starting point we got nice fall all the way through here all right so now what I'm gonna try to do is clean this area up here get the, the puddles out of it get it graded off and looking a lot better and get it where the water will flow down to this ditch so it'll tie into the other existing ditch that's already here I decided to go ahead and start this kind of in about the middle of the ditch line mainly because most of the building footprint is going to be up here. So I felt like let's get that done first and get water draining and then we can come back and do some work on the on the lower side as needed. As long as the machine will stand up, the plan is just to start raking all of this back in such a way that it'll kind of drain out a little bit. And any spoil that we pick up, we'll just have to cast it off behind us. I don't really have 
a lot of reach from where I'm at right this second, but in the next go around, we'll be able to kind of position a little bit better. It is just really, really nasty. If I can just get sort of a rough grade established, just following the existing slope of the land, I can slick it off of the blade, probably. Uh, just kind of depends on how marshy it is. But I would just like to get it where the water doesn't puddle as much up here. And we'll just go ahead and drain out. I think we can get that done. I'm just going to take a little work. Originally, they just wanted me to dig a ditch here, but the more that I thought about it, I'm like, I just don't think that's going to be enough because what you've got is a bunch of mud puddles that are just varying depths and don't really tie into the existing grade. You've got two and a half percent of fall to work with, so it's not like I could have dug a three foot deep ditch. That just wasn't gonna work out real well. So I just kinda gave it some thought. I actually watched a few videos on other people doing stuff like this to get some ideas. And kind of came up with this idea of hey let's just get a, a main trench in and then start trying to bring the rest of the grade into that main trench they say you'll never climb that mountain it doesn't matter what you believe even if you get a run for the hill you're bound to run out of steam i said i was born on the mountain Two speeds. I'm either stopped or gone. Stopped or gone. Holding on and running like the devil. And if I linger too long, oh, then the dust will settle. They say you'll never cross the soul. Stopped or gone. I won't carry the weight of your opinions of my life. No, I will travel the road I go, whether I'm wrong or right. I was born on the mountain. Adversity feels like home. Straight to the top of my two feet, and they've only got two speeds. I may. Okay, so we've got a lot of the grading done and we've pushed a lot of water down the hill here. The last thing I wanna to try to achieve, and 
man, I'm just having a real hard time finding a place where I can do it. Because, yep, I just sunk up huge. Oh, dude. This is not good. I may not be able to do this. I just, I can't even operate the machine over here without it bogging up. Ugh, yuck. All right, let's see if we can just drive out of here. Oh, let me guess, there's a stump there or something. Oh yeah. There's a stump right there. All right. Well, that's going to make this interesting. Just trying to rotate the base of the machine just enough where I can get out of its way. be enough or I may just have to try to go out this way okay yep it's official I got troubles Is just get out any way you can. There we go. Well, that was fun. Yeah, so like I was saying, we're going to leave that pretty much like it is. <laughs> wow. I really thought I was stuck there for a minute. Now, I'm going to try to spin off and just get out that way. Okay, well, that made it interesting. So, yeah, any plans I had for this area over here are now on hold permanently. I guess there's a stump hole right there. That's the worst one I've seen today. 
So, what we're going to do instead is just do our best to get this graded out. And just keep carrying this grade that we've been working the whole time. Okay, so I think we just about have this finished up. We've got a trench uh, on the front side and then everything kind of graded down into it and graded all the big puddles and stuff out as many as we could. Then when I got done with all of the grading, I went back to the around the back side and tried to just get a little trench in all the way back down around here. Um, it worked out okay, but there's so many soft spots it was really hard to position and get where I needed to go. But water's draining through it, so um, you know, we should be ready for the heavy rain uh, that's coming tomorrow. So anyway, uh, we really appreciate you guys watching and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.